Where can we find Isa? Where is Isa? Can you ring the bell? Mr. Yeah, they are here. I can see the rapporteur. Rules committee, are you back? Rules committee.
Rules Committee. Okay. Mr. Chairman, Chairman of uh, Rules. Mr. Chairman of Rules, I call upon you to present your report. Uh, Mr. President, uh, Mr. Chair, you uh, invited us to withdraw and uh, to deliberate on it. And during this meeting, the members here present, that is the Vice President, the other members, uh, went in the same direction that uh, we had uh, mentioned here to the effect that uh, it is not really it's not really uh, a report. What brought it is a review. Uh, uh, please, I just want to stress that. What is the point of order? The point of order is, uh, President, the, 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 the chairman should not report what we, we didn't discuss. What, we, what, what wasn't discussed. What is reporting? We've never discussed that. But you, you are not telling us what you discussed. No, no, no. We discovered that this minute, there's no one who doesn't have it. All of us, we have this minute we received in March, in, including him. There's no one who doesn't have this minute. So it means uh, it's not. Yes, thank you. Uh, but, Mr. President, I think that we need to respect the rules. I'm not going to uh, talk uh, in my. Uh, role as president. Article 55 gives the president of the committee uh, to call to order any member uh, who is uh, uh, disturbing our activities. And this morning, and it's not the first time, a rule can be applied. They are not uh, children who came from uh, elementary to do this work. So with all the respect that we uh, owe each other, uh, so this, we need to uh, police the uh, procedures so that people uh, are more polite. So all the insults, uh, we, we need to stop all of that. And so, so he is uh, talking about the report from the month of March, as if the activities that we had done recently uh, are not part of this report. So what, what kind of report is that? A report has to evolve because in March, uh, we also did some work as well as in April. Not only was that not added, the uh, virtual meeting, uh, which was this, which we, we, where we discussed uh, the physical meeting was not mentioned. So uh, should we focus uh, our report only on the gaps and areas of improvements and uh, present that? And in, in, in English it says review and in French it says report. So what we decided, so uh, I'm just about to conclude. 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 Uh, just about to conclude. Now, when we went there, the majority of the members of the committee said not only we are not going to present a report, and if this report is presented, we should write uh, about the, the work that we had done, because it's not just uh, a report that ends in March, because in May we had a meeting. And so uh, we come here to talk about report. This is not a report. So the majority of the members uh, rejected uh, this document uh, uh, that ended in March. I thank you. Uh, let me start with the members of the Rules Committee, then I go to general debate. Members of the Rules Committee can, uh, can, can help us. I'll start from there. 
Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président. Uh, thank you very much, Monsieur Chair. Le honorable Président, uh, uh, honorable members of the Parliament, uh, before everything, we want to ask you. De vous présenter toutes nos excuses uh, de la Commission. We want to present our apologies uh, for the work in our committee. We uh, ask the members of this committee to meet and clarify uh, whenever there are difficulties on legal issues. You did not create this committee to come here and complicate your work and create uh, problems in this uh, uh, parliament. We are really uh, disappointed that we are going into to debates that shouldn't happen, uh, Mr. Chair. Your committee was called upon to come here, uh, first of all, to debate uh, in the, as presented in the agenda, the, uh, the mandate, the terms of the new members. We met on 21 May 2021. We did the work, and this work um, led to the swearing-in ceremony that we had the other day. Your committee, after doing this work, said we are going to meet on the 1st of June to see uh, other, to look at other issues. We are very surprised as members of the parliament that uh, such an important document, uh, and in the title itself, it's really important, review of the gaps and areas of improvement in the rules of uh, the procedure of the Pan-African parliament. So, it talks about uh, the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Discipline. We didn't uh, review this. What kind of report are we going to present? This type of document, this is a tract. It, it's signed by nobody. We owe you respect, uh, Mr. President. We, we owe you respect, uh, members of parliament. We cannot uh, come here uh, with uh, such a, a document and present whereas it has not been uh, approved by anyone. If we have to do a uh, verbal presentation, uh, well, uh, there are issues that are pending uh, since uh, a few years, uh, the issue of uh, review of the gaps of uh, the rules of procedure, which have to be adopted um, uh, 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 given in accordance with the laws of the African Union and other protocols. So uh, all of those uh, improvements need to be brought to this document. And so we cannot in 30 minutes, um, otherwise we would be lying to you because uh, uh, that work uh, is not ready. Even tomorrow it's not going to be ready. Uh, this report uh, has nothing to do with, the, uh, with tomorrow's elections. The elections should go on. We are going to have our meeting on the 1st of June, and then we will come back to present it to you. I thank you. Ablazis, Honorable. The Rules Committee. Thank you. Oh, Mr. by the way, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, I think was, you, you have already rules. given me. You yeah. can now include me in the Rules Committee. You, it's you, okay. You come after the Rules members. Rules I members, can, be, can you be visible? From now on, I can be a member. Can of the you rules be committee. visible so that I can <laughs> identify you? Uh, this side, I don't see any rules. You are rules, eh? Yes. In white. You are not rules, eh? Yes. I want rules, rules, members. Honorable Majola, then Honorable Togarib. Thank you, Honorable uh, um, Acting President. Yeah, you know, Honorable yeah. Roger, we want to respect you forever. You have been our president. Yes, former president. We want to respect and honor you in this chamber as a former president. And I think, yes, even after Pap one, can you respect me as our former president? Please, conduct yourself in a manner that is full of integrity and respect. Yes. Honorable Roger, that is inconsistent with the presidential behavior.
No, no, let's let's stop. Thank you, uh, Acting President. Uh, I think this uh, plenary allocated 30 minutes for us to go out and and uh, and discuss uh, the reports and come back. Firstly, what transpired while uh, we were discussing is that uh, the secretary, I mean the so-called chairperson uh, of the rules. Um, uh, received the minutes on March, firstly. The report, sorry, the report on March. He said, yeah, he never received any report. Now, when we went to the clerk, to the secretary, he said, no, I gave them the, the report on March to you. That's the first point that I need to clarify. So, what he said here in the House was not true. Secondly, come to the issue that was raised by the Honorable Member that we had a meeting on the 21st, and the minutes uh, of that meeting does not reflect in this report. We agreed on the 21st that uh, the, we are going to have another meeting on the 1st of June. So those minutes of the 21st will then reflect at the meeting of the, of, of the 1st of June, and then we'll report it at the next plenary. Now what we want to report here, we report what we have. We report what we agreed on. All the minutes that we discussed and agreed on, that is what we are going to report. The meeting of the first will then cover the minutes of the 21st, and then we will then approve it in that meeting of the first. That was our, 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 our agreement as, as a rules committee. So I can't understand now if you come and raise and say, but the minutes of the first, I mean, the, the, the minutes of the 21st that, uh, does not reflect. Uh, that was the arrangement of us. So today we are here to discuss what we agreed on, what we have in front of us. And Chairperson, uh, I think there was a proposal there, with your respect. There was a proposal from the Honorable Member who was sitting there and supported by Honorable Machotina that uh, we, we, must, we must proceed with this. Because the Chairperson, firstly, didn't tell us truth. He said that he didn't receive the report. And now he was exposed by the secretary that he received the report on March. So, wh what are we doing? Now, I think we need to... This parliament, if you, you notice, the way we are proceeding, I think we are the only ones, we are the only institution that proceeds in this manner. We spend 60% of the time arguing about what we want to do not doing the chair of rules i want to give a full explanation we have a program of sitting which mentions that today there will be activity report which i presented budget and rules this morning a program was produced and i announced that today's program we will start with activity report, budget, and then rules. No one ever said to me we have a problem. Now, when we sit in the afternoon, the report is in the chamber already. The chairman says, I have not received this report. But now I are told that, in fact, the chairman has seen this report before. Now, in terms of parliamentary practice, you are parliamentarians, wherever you come from, you come from parliament. Parliamentary practice says when a report is tabled, goes into the chamber like it is, it was tabled and is now in, it is the property of the parliament itself, of the chamber. It is no longer a report, a committee's report. As a result, if the, the committee should present this report, it's here with us. The, com the comment or view that we have not finished some parts of the report. It is common that you don't need, you don't need to, to present everything. What is available is presented. And then the next can be presented in October or in August. You, want, you don't want to present what you, you did in March and you want to do it in October. Why are we doing that? So we proceed. People can comment on this report. Chairman can present. If he's not willing to present, members have seen the report. We can still ask the members to debate the report. 
Presentation is just a formality of saying, this is what we did. But the report is already tabled in the chamber, it's tabled, and it's not being withdrawn. Allow a member of the rules committee to present and we debate. Right, because the, Mr. Chairman, uh, this report now belongs to the chamber. Now, if you say you want to disown it, yet you received it in March, I think we are simply trying to create more conflicts and confusions and argument. And it's not good for this parliament. Sure. We need to proceed. Sure. And the procedure is that uh, either members of the committee will, rep will present, if they don't want, we simply say any comments on this report for those who have read, who have read and we can go to the page and then we, we debate it. Merci, Président. Je peux prendre la parole? Thank you very thank much, you. Uh, Chair. Those can I take the floor? The thank you, thank if you. If the rules committee can't present, what about Thank you, thank you Mr. Chair. Can you ask report. the rapporteur, please? Rapporteur will report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Rapporteur will report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Rapporteur will report. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 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 Thank you, uh, you, you cannot uh, uh, skip me. Uh, please, I respect you. You should also respect me. I think I didn't come here like a domestic worker, uh, so we all need respect. I respect you, and so you should also respect me. As uh, the uh, president of the committee, uh, the rules uh, uh, committee, I need respect. This morning, uh, you said that we need to respect the rules. And so, uh, honestly, we need to respect the rules. And I take um, uh, a call the entire uh, uh, assembly to, to witness. I, as the president of the rules committee, um, we were asked to review the uh, areas of improvement, uh, and we are best placed uh, to discuss uh, rules. So a report really has to be complete. Either it is complete or it is not complete. And uh, every time I uh, ask for the preparation of this document, uh, the rapporteur would falsify and uh, change things. But uh, that is not right. But what is this? No, I'm warning you. I'm warning you, Mr. President, with all the res the, uh, the respect that I owe you, this has to stop. It doesn't help you anymore. We can do that. When you it talk is not going point, to scare us. We will not scare us. That's unparliamentary. On a point of order, Mr. President. Mr. President. On a point of order. Point of order. Mr. President. Point of order. Honorable Jibri. Honorable Jibri. Point of order. Mr. President. Point of order. Honorable Jibri. I'm going to parlay the point. Acting President, exercise your power as a chair of a meeting who can't be held at ransom by a hooligan. No, but Don't be scared of a hooligan who can deal with it Mr. now. President, we have, we have to have We're not here for him. This is not his kitchen. It's not his house. Run this house. Acting President, but you are order, in charge. Point of order. We have called an order here. Whatever you bring, point of order. Sit down to but m mine was first, Mr. President. Voda, you are disrupting the order of the house. <laughs> Mr. President. Acting President, exercise your power as a chair of a session. Why are you scared of this call, guy? Call the Sergeant at arms to come and remove him from the house. Yes. Uh, uh, remove this thing from Mr. the President. house. No, but oh, oh, that, but is that in order? Mr. President, this house. use your powers, Mr. Mr. President. You must just sit down or go away. Order. Mr. President, use your powers. Uh, security. Security. Yes. Can you get him out of the chamber? He should be ejected. Yes. No, Mr. President. Yes. No, tomorrow we are going to go to the chamber. Eject him from the house. I will. C'est ça. Ah, no. uh, uh, you say you get me. Mr. Point of order. You have to send all of them out, not testing your party. They are going to be behaving. Mr. President. Hello. Si la la police vient, c'est vous qui faites. Hello. Mr. President. 
Acting president, you are acting in a helpless manner. It's like you don't know what to do now. What is this? What do you call this? President, the man led the What do you call this? Most we are not going to sit here and be Most bullied by this guy. President, President the man led the city. Exercise the rules on him. Monsieur d'ordre, Monsieur le Président. President, the man led the city. A point of order. Um, Mr. President, please ask them to keep quiet. Hello, can you take your seats? Yes. Mr. Can you take your seats? I'm not giving anyone any flow now. I'm not giving you the floor. I'm not giving anyone the floor now. I've said we now invite debate on this report. Mr. President, why don't you exercise your powers? You see? We are not going to stand this nonsense. President, you ordered us to sit down. We have to sit down. It's your order. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Please, can we proceed with the report? Can we proceed with the report? Can the report to present the report? Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Rapporteur can read the report. Mr. Let's have the report read. There is a president. The report is long. You can't read every word in this report. I think go by headings. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. On the paper, on the can the rapporteur please lead us? What are we waiting for? Rapporteur. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Rapporteur, you have the flow. No, but that's not how it works, Mr. President. Ah. There's a dispute here within the bureau of the committee. There's a dispute Mr. here. Mr. President. There is no dispute. The ruling There's has been made. Hey, hey, hey. There's a dispute here within the... Procedure. Ah. Uh, Procedure. Uh, please, uh, uh, rapporteur, please. Monsieur le Président, s'il vous plaît. Monsieur le Président, s'il vous plaît. Mr. President, Mr. President, please. What is happening is dangerous. we are waiting for you. Hello? Who is switching off the Who is switching off the mic? Hey, please switch on the mic. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. I'm I am going to report to please, please, the report, report of yes. the permanent committee on rules, pas privileges, discipline held from zero. Mais, Monsieur le Président, don't... 8 March to 12 March 2021. No, 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 you can't. The, the rules, committee, and privileges and discipline held meetings from the 8th to the 12th of March to consider the review of the PAP rules of procedure and amendment with the changes. Roger, don't, Roger, please take your seat. Honorable Roger, take your seat. Okay, sit there. Mr. Mr. Rapporteur, proceed. Uh, the committee also dealt with other exigent matters affecting the administration. French, French translation, French, French, French translation. French translation. Mr. President, there are too many speakers speaking at the same time, and it's impossible for interpreters. The meeting started with a joint meeting that was attended by the bureaucs of all the permanent committees and regional caucuses of the OPAP. Mandate of the Rules Committee, the Committee of Rules and Privileges. Summarize the report. Summarize the report. How do I summarize? Right, the meeting which we held. Mr. President, uh, like la I said, it was. Uh, uh, it, it was. Uh,
headings. Heading is the only black with my, my headings. Right. The Secretariat of PAP tabled the presentation about the task team that was set up to monitor and track and advise on matters related to COVID. Borokia, please. The team let's was have order. established soon after the outbreak of COVID during this week. La commission n'a pas eu de rapport, Monsieur le Président. La la is with the South the South rapport de quelle commission? We didn't receive any report, Mr. President. So which report is he reading? Sit the prison repertoire. All right. No, he can't continue. There is no report. He can't continue. There is no report. Right. Let me go to the M. La commission n'a pas validé de rapport, donc il peut pas avoir de rapport. We didn't validate any report of the committee. So which report is he reading? Parliament through relevant and up to date rules Most of procedure. As for the specific objectives, the meeting sought to enable the rules committee to review the current rules of procedure and determine the gaps and areas of possible improvement. Enable the rules committee to consider and adopt the draft guidelines of virtual statutory meetings of the Pan African Parliament. Enable the rules committee to finalize and adopt the draft concept note and roadmap for the revision of rules of procedure of the Pan African Parliament. To, to draft the resolutions that will be presented to plenary to in. Y'a pas de rapport, y'a pas de rapport. Rejeté, y'a pas de rapport. There is no report. Rejected. There is no report. There is no report. We reject it. There is no report. Continue reading. Right. Continue reading. Don't stop. Continue reading. Was uh, on verification of PAP members in implement in a presentation that was led by the clerk of parliament. The pa PAP secretariat informed the committee that the rule, rule six of Pan African Parliament rules of procedure needed to be assessed with a view to amend it. The rules refers to the verification of credentials of members who are delegated to the Pan-African Parliament by member states. Uh, the Secretary had expressed concern that at the moment the Pan-African Parliament does, doesn't have a system in place to verify credentials of Parliament. Then maybe let me go to the to the resolutions, the committee concluded that there is need for PAP to put in place measures addressed by member states that are not complying with the guidelines for the nomination of members. This must be communicated to all member countries so that uh, they are made aware of penalties. Then the other issue that was discussed uh, during that meeting was the status of the Peru. This one, I think I need to re read it uh, in total so that members can appreciate. The Secretariat briefed the committee that four top positions in the Peru of the Pan-African Parliament were vacant following the vacation of those positions by the incumbents. The fourth Vice President of PAP, Honorable Charumbira, was the only remaining member of the Peru and he is acting president. The the members, vacated, members who vacated their seats were as for, for different reasons. Um, number one was Roger Ngodo. Term ended when his national parliament was dissolved to hold election. Marcel ended when his national parliament dissolved to hold elections. Then uh, Honorable Sise term ended when he his national parliament was dissolved to hold elections. Then 
Honorable Boras ended when he, his national parliament was dissolved. Right? The, 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 on this one, then it was recommended that uh, chairpersons of uh, uh, regional caucuses be included as members of the Peru so that we could proceed and uh, uh, run PAP without a situation where there is a gap. So the committee accepted the advice given by the legal officer. So what we recommended was uh, also concurred to by the legal officer. However, they instructed that the recommendation must be captured correctly to indicate that the presentation in the Beru by caucuses was limited to substantive chairpersons of the regional caucuses. In their absence, the vice chairpersons will represent the caucuses and in the absence of the vice chairpersons, the rapporteur will be delegated. The legal officer was advised to prepare a text for the committee to adopt and present it to plenary. Yeah, so this is what we have today, that the chairpersons from our different regional caucuses are sitting as the... Then we also held a meeting during the same period to facilitate uh, virtual meetings which were not provided for in our rules of procedure. So uh, the meeting then looked at the, uh, the legality of that and it was approved that the framework which was presented by the legal officer was good enough for us to, to, to hold virtual meetings and they would be recognized uh, as legal meetings. Um, then uh, we also looked at the uh, readiness of our IT system. It was also related to the virtual meetings. So we looked at whether we have the IT system that was ready to facilitate. We saw challenges there uh, because of uh, the, the, the unavailability of equipment and so forth, but uh, uh, parliament administration then assured that the system was going to be put in place and members agreed that Zoom could be used as, a, as an alternative platform that can then run meetings of PAP. Um, so maybe in short I could read a little bit of uh, the discussions that we held. The committee thanked the PAP Secretariat for the work done to ensure that the, the PAP is ready to adopt virtual meetings as a new way of transacting PAP business. The members highlight that the going, uh, that going virtual will enable PAP to be responsive to issues that it was mandated to do. So the Secretary has, was requested to clarify how the answer will be accommodated in virtual meetings since it is an important attribute of parliament. In response, Secretariat informed members that all the meetings held on Zoom are recordable and this can allow answer transcribers to capture all the deliberations and produce an answered report after the meetings. So we realize that the IT system and the administration in place could facilitate the meetings. Then rules of procedure. The legal officer presented the committee an in-depth analysis of the rules of procedure that needed review and of improvement in the rules of procedure. The committee was informed the issue of reviewing the rules of procedure was not a new subject, it was also presented to the committee during its sitting in, 20, in March 2020. At the time, three presentations were tabled before the committee. Um, the, the, the Secretariat had consolidated those presentations and drafted an analytical a review that has been availed to the members of Parliament. Um, 
Then maybe, in short, let me give you one paragraph of the discussions that we had. In the discussion, the members noted that the Pan-African Parliament Secretariat must proceed to draft specific amendments that need to be changed and developed a zero draft of, um, of the rules of procedure that will be considered, debated and adopted by the committee in its next sitting. This zero dra draft will then be tabled to the PAP plenary for adoption. The members also, also added that the rules of procedure must have an aspect that defines the relationship that the PAP has with persons who have served the institution in leadership, especially the Beru. The arrangement of the appointment of PAP ambassadors must also be placed in the rules of procedure so that there are clear guidelines of appointing such persons. In developing the zero draft of the rules of procedure, the Secretariat must include a rule that instructs um, the PAP Beru to refer to the Committee of Rules and Privileges and Discipline if they want to make a decision on a matter that is not their responsibility. Then uh, we also then discussed the issue of principle of rotation in leadership of positions. The legal officer of the PAP briefed the committee about the principle of rotation and the decision that the PAP and the AU had made in relation to the concept of rotation in leadership position within the African Union and the Pan-African Parliament in particular. The committee was informed that the AU has, has decisions on rotation of leadership positions that it adopted since formation. These were the recommendations or advice that we were getting from the legal officer. As an organ of the African Union, the Pan-African Parliament is also bound to follow the, these principles in electing its leaders. Despite that background, the Pan-African Parliament has not included the principle of rotation in the rules of procedure. This omission has given birth to disagreements, confusion on the existence or application of the rule of rotation. Realizing that the PAP was not complying with the principle of rotation when electing its leaders, the Executive Council of the African Union had, a, a, had made a clear decision that called for the PAP to respect the principle of rotation in electing uh, leaders in May 2017. This decision was approved by the Summit of Heads of State, thereby formalizing it as a decision of the AU that must be implemented. The preliminary of uh, the Pan-African Parliament also adopted the resolutions calling on the PAP to implement rotation in electing leaders, especially in the Beru. This decision is binding on the PAP since it was made by its only highest decision-making body, plenary, even though the PAP rules of procedure have not been updated to reflect the resolution. It is binding and enforceable. Uh, at this point, the PAP must codify the principle of rotation within its operating documents, like the rules of procedure. This will assist with clearing the confusion that exists in the relation to the principle of rotation at PAP. Regarding the date of enforcement, the committee was advised that it is better to start the enforcement from, the, from 2017 because that is the time when the AU instructed PAP to comply with the rules of rotation. A retrospective application of the principle that, that death before would be complicated because some members can argue over it. Then, uh, then the discussion, the committee agreed with the suggestion that the principle of rotation must now uh, no, 
was not a new matter in PAP, and it is reasonable to have 2017 as a date of enforcement. The, the members also propose that the principle should not use just be restricted to the position of the president of the Peru, of the PAP. It was also to be applied to other positions and organs of PAP, for example, the vice presidents, the ranking, uh, the leadership of permanent committees must also be subjected to rotation. Then, then way forward, uh, the PAP secretariat presented a concept not outlining how the process of amending and reviewing the rules will proceed. Um, <laughs> Order, house, order, order. Right, that what, uh, then the interim members of the Peru, I think this is the other area that I must report by reading through as was uh, agreed. The legal officer was tasked with the drafting the, a resolution deploying regional caucus chairpersons to the Peru as interim Peru members. The, re the resolution should specify that the co-opted members of the Peru are expected to start working on the 11th of March. The reconfigured Peru, reconfigured Peru will be tasked with organizing a physical session in Midland and, or another country that would be amenable to hosting a physical session in May 2021. The co-opted members from the Peru must be chairpersons of regional caucuses that are not represented in the Peru. If the chairperson is not available, the responsibility must be bestowed on the vice chair, and as well if the vice chair is not there to the rapporteur. The reconfigured Peru must develop its own mechanism of functioning and allocating responsibility to each other within the Peru. Then uh, virtual meetings, the committee recommended that the virtual meetings must start immediately to allow PAP to address issues that have been discussed since the outbreak of COVID. The PAP Beru must be allowed to guide this process. The PAP secretary should draft a bro brochure with guidelines explaining the use of Zoom the PAP rules of procedure must also be amended to include a provision that allows for the holding of virtual meetings. Principle of rotation in leadership, the secretaries must draft a resolution on the principle of rotation, and this resolution must be presented to plenary to be held in May 2021. Amend amendment of the ru PAP rules of procedure. The PAP secretariat must facilitate development of zero draft of the revised PAP rules of procedure that must be examined by the committee. Also, the secretariat of PAP must draft a resolution that will request the PAP plenary to grant the committee the permission to proceed with the amendment of rules of procedure. I think... In short, that is the report. Thank you. I have a list of speakers. First speaker is Honorable Tembekile Majola from South Africa. <laughs> Sorry, there's no mic. Yeah, the mic will be sorted. Who is responsible for the mics? Monsieur le Président. The mics are off. The mics are off. Who is responsible? The mics are off. Off, yes. Point of order. Is that, order, is that, Mr. Is that Mr. a deliberate sabotage? Point, Point of, of order, order, Mr. President. Yeah. Why Point are the mics order. off? Point of order, Mr. President. No, we need to have the mics back first. They yeah, now. they are there. They are there now? They're yes, there. they are. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President, for giving me the floor. Is it in order, Mr. President? 
We are really annoyed. This morning, Mr. President, in, in your parliament, the, the, the rules of conduct are stricter than this. Here, people want to behave differently. Honorable Ablaziz, continue. Mr. President. Honorable Ablaziz, you have the floor. Mr. President, this morning one motion was raised on that you will be removed from there, that you will step down. I was so annoyed because I thought it was very unfair. The same with Honorable Jibril, who is the chairperson of Committee on Rules. Without his approval, how... Where are we going to go? Someone, a member from the same region of yours, a member from the same region of yours, he has told you to kick him out from the house. And you said, you call the police. We are here for the sake of our continent, Mr. President. We are here for the sake of Africa. Let us respect each other. Rotation. The issue of rotation. He is we debating. Can you, eh? Hello. Can you give him opportunity to debate? And you will be recognized. All of you, you will be recognized. Give him the opportunity to debate. Mr. Mr. President, thank you very much. There's a point of order, a point of order. There's a point of order. Okay. There's a point of order. My, my mic is off. Mic is not Sorry, ready. they are working. Okay. Acting President, there is a list on this issue. There's a list of speakers. Please, let's, for if you want to debate, the, the, the list is there. Who take there, the list? There's no one who's holding anyone hostage. Who on a point of order, you called the first speaker on the list, acting president, you called the first speaker on the list. That's the procedure of this parliament. Please. It's on the list. List is here. Everybody's going to speak here. Sorry, Honorable uh, Abdulaziz. You have been heard. I think give Oreb Abdulaziz. Oreb Abdulaziz, you have been heard. Oreb Abdulaziz, no mic you have heard your time. You, no, you never gave me time. C can, Thank you. The mic is on no, now. No, no. Yeah, but can I say? Is, you, you are not the one to debate first, Oreb Abdulaziz. No, no, but I have a point of order. Yes, but you, you are the but chair. You are, you, are you are the chair. We don't accept the other people to chair with you. No, 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 chair no. with you. Right. You, you, I will chair with you now. Fine. What is the difference? Brazis. What is the difference? Make, make, make your point of order. Make okay, I'll raise my point of order. Please. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. President, let, us be, let us be fair. Let us be fair. I will never take it. I will never take it lightly. I want someone to give you the selection. No, and, and we'll point you, of order is not a Jibril. distraction. Remove Honorable Jibril. That's what they told you, and you did it. No, 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 no. You are going to be the Whatever president you of the refused. parliament. He refused. This is about your legacy. This is about your legacy. Believe me. Honorable you have made you your much. point. You have made your point. Honorable Tembekile Majola. Honorable Tembekile Majola. Thank you. Motion. Motion, President. Motion. Can you please, please, can I go by the list? Please, Motion, President. Can I go by the list? Point of order. Point of order, Mr. President. No, it's a good emotion, eh? No, 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 no. okay, Mr. don't have the point of order. Mr. President. Let me... Mr. President. Mr. President. If you read this document on page... Uh, on the cover page. This document has been brought here for information only. That's what is stated in the French text. In the French, it says consideration of lacunas and uh, improvement of the rules of procedure of the Pan-African Parliament. That's what is written. So that the committee can look at it. So they are looking at how we are going to improve 
the Pan-African Parliament. I read it to the end. There is not a single recommendation. I think the, the, the text we have in English yes. does not say for information only. Yes. Please, we, we need to proceed with the list. Motion, Mr. President. Point of order, point of order. Point of order. Could you please give the floor to the vice chair, the vice chair? Le compte rendu de débat d'une commission permanente dûment approuvé sont validés par la signature du président de la séance et du parlementaire agissant. The minutes of the committee validated by the chairperson and by the rapporteur. And uh, they are in the hands of the rapporteur. Item 4. Of the same article, the report of a standing committee on any matter is uh, presented to the parliament by the chairperson of the committee or the one appointed in, on his behalf. Uh, you are not upholding the rules, sir. Can you quote the rule? Can you quote the rule? Monsieur Dardar. Rule number? What rule is that? Monsieur Dardar. Sorry? Point of order, please. The interpretation is not quite coming timely. So there is no problem with this rule. There is no problem. I've seen the rule. There is no problem. Is, there's no problem with the rule. A member of a committee can present the report. That's what it says. That's what says the rule says. If, 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 the, if the proceed to call the people for debate. Monsieur Dorter. Order. Have ordered, sir. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Honorable um, Acting President. Uh, mine will be very short, and I want to remind uh, our honorable members that are here that not all of us are under the regime of uh, dictatorship. Um, when we we are a committee. It doesn't mean that it's only one person who has an authority to decide for the committee. A committee, it's a committee. That's why that you call a committee. If you want to tell us here that the chairperson is the only one who have to present, it's totally wrong. We gave him an opportunity to present. He didn't want to take it. And we are the committee. We are presenting the report. So we must all of us uh, understand. Mr. President, motion Dodd. Point of order, Mr. Mr. President. Democratic, you know, countries. Um, Chairperson, let me not waste your, your, your time. Uh, let me, I want to emphasize to the rules of the 11 March 2021. Uh, I mean the minute, sorry. The minutes of 11 March 2021, going to item number four. Um, I think uh, the principle of the rotation in leadership position. Uh, if you are read the minutes, or maybe I have to take you through a little bit to the minutes. Let me start, let me skip the 4.1 and come to 4.2. Uh, page is 22 of uh, 26 and uh, 23 of 26. That's how they... Yeah. 4.2, it says that the committee was informed that the African Union has decisions on rotation of leadership positions that is adopted since the formation. As an organ of an African Union, 
the Pan-African Parliament is also bound to follow this principle in electing its leadership. If you, you move forward. Motion d'ordre, Monsieur le Président. Point of order, Mr. Reading, President. Forward, He's reading I'm something. reading the minutes that was adopted by this committee Can of the rules. Read? Please read. If you move forward, despite the, uh, the background that the PAP has not included the principle of rotation in its rule of procedure, this omission has given a bad uh, disagreement and confusion. Listen, it moved forward, forward. 4.3, realizing that the PAP was not complying with the principle of rotation when electing its leadership, the Executive Council of the African Union had made a clear decision that, that called for PAP to respect the principle of rotation in electing its uh, leadership in May 2017. This decision was approved by the summit of the heads of, of, of states, thereby formalizing it is a decision of a AU must be implemented. Move to 4.4. The plenary of the Pan-African Parliament also adopt the resolution, the resolution calling the PAP to implement the rotation in electing leadership, especially the Bureau. This decision is binding on the PAP since it was made by its highest decision um, making body. That is disciplinary. That is disciplinary. Even those the PAP rules of procedure have not yet uh, uh, updated the, reflection, the reflect this resolution. It is binding and enforce, enforceable. I was listening one of the 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 the, 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 the bureau uh, members, uh, um, honourable. He was saying that if uh, the rotation principle is not in the rule book, that can't be implemented. You must read this last uh, sentence. Even though the PAP rules or procedure have not yet been updated to reflect this uh, reso uh, re re resolution, it is binding and enforceable. So, my chairperson, without wasting any time today, I'm saying that uh, this thing of uh, that in order to, 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 to deal with rotation, we need to, to sign all this protocol that they mentioned here. It's totally, it's totally not true. And I'm, I, want to, I want to propose to you, Chairperson, that this is overkill. This is the time today to make sure that uh, we implement what the AU has recommended. We implement that this House has been uh, uh, um, uh, approved. Um, make sure that the rules, the, the principle of rotation are approved and implemented today. Thank you. Point of order. I had asked for a point of order, Chair. Mr. President, point of order. Uh, I want to follow the list. The next is Chiana, but I'll, I'll give you the point of order. Honorable Kone. Honorable Kone. Yes, point of order. Thank you, President. Yes, a point of order. Thank you, President. Thank you, Mr. President. Our rules stipulate that for the report of a committee to come to the plenary, this report must be adopted and validated by that committee. If I look at the understanding of members of the committee, it's regrettable because this report was not validated by the members of the committee before coming to the plenary. It has come to the plenary without validation by members of that committee, which makes it difficult, uh, even impossible, for the plenary to consider such a report. Secondly, Mr. President, this morning I had said that for matters of substance, it would be good that you yourself who has declared yourself as a candidate should not 
be chairing the sessions so that your proposals or your uh, points that you raise be considered as part of your campaign. I had raised this issue, but it seems I was not understood this morning. We need to be clear, Mr. President, what is being discussed here. We know that there are three regions who are vying for the position in the Bureau, and it seems that you're subtly trying to remove the other two candidates so that it's only your candidature that is coming forward. We would need to know who the candidates are, but we have heard who they are. You've talked about the principle of rotation, Mr. President. Do not forget that there is a lack of retroactive nature of the rules. The rules are as from 2017 in terms of application. Countries or regions since 2017 through to today have been here. And since the start of PAP, we have been working in this matter. I do respect you, Mr. President. Uh, so I need, I need to respond. It's a point of order first. Yeah, Can yes. I respond? We cannot have a point of order. Yes, yes, yes. We, we, we need to. Please. What have we learned from what he said? Please. So what are you contributing? Are you correcting him? So why, why are you trying to correct what he said? Why are you raising your hand? Do you disagree with what he's saying? Yes, if you disagree, right. All I'm, I want to say is, okay, fine, wait, 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 wait. The point he's making is, this is a committee of rules. We are not members of that committee. We are being told what they discussed. 2018, Honorable Boroja was president. He sat here until the election. You never said the same thing to Honorable Boroja. You let him, you never said say the same thing to Honorable Boroja. Why, why, why are you being selective? Point of order, when, last one, then I move to yeah, order. Point of order. Point, point of order here. Of order Thank here. You. Wait. Acting, acting chair. Oh, no, 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 no. When, when you try to force me, Thank I, you. I just do it in a nice manner, I will allow you to speak. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Order. Acting, L listen acting to him. President. I want to reward the people for disrupting others. I have, I have a difficulty. How? Sorry. Please, how please, honorable member, if you want to be respected and given the floor, listen to others also. I have a difficulty, the mode in which the last speaker got up on point of order. Mm. And I want to refer to Rule 45, interruption of debate. Mm. Somebody must be on the floor for you to be able to get up to interrupt. There was nobody. I need guidance. Can anybody at all get up on point of order at any time and make a statement? I want guidance from the chair. Thank you. Procedure. Thank you. Procedure. Are, are, you, are, are you going back to him? Mr. Mr. President. The Pro one in white. Oui. Please, President. Yes, the one. No, no, no. You oui. are talking. Pro I'll go to this one. Procedure. Oui. Procedure. This one. Okay. Uh, Acting President, I thank you very much. It's just a quick observation. I am new here uh, from Ghana. Sorry, sorry, can we listen? I am Honorable Anodon Pref from Ghana. I have just made a, strong, uh, a general observation. I want to bring it to your notification. I think it's important we pay attention to it. This is Africa. We are all representatives of African countries coming under this umbrella. I am amazed at the extent of chaos this is the Pan-African Parliament that we are all pride, priding ourselves of. Mr. Chair, I want to respect you and I want to respect colleagues that we cannot make progress with this attitude. I mean, if somebody is speaking, you need to listen to the person. This chaos and interventions and abuse of the rules. We must, speaker, Mr. Chair, you must put your feet down. And we want to see some leadership from you. Otherwise, we walk away. Otherwise, we just walk away. So we appeal to you, instill discipline. If somebody is abusing the rules, you must instill discipline. And you must apply the rules. We, we, we've, been, we've been supported by our countries to be here. Our various countries have supported us to be here. We need to justify why we are here. And you cannot make an impact or a contribution by making noise. We are observing. We want to learn. We are here for the first time. This confusion is totally unacceptable. I thank you.
President. Honorable Chiana. Please give us. Chance. Mr. President. Honorable Jida. Oh. Mama, Mama, Chad. Honorable Jida. Honorable Awaj Sankum. Jame, the Gambia. Thank you very much. Uh, acting president over there uh, for giving me the floor. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed, or a bit disappointed to see how rules committee is being treated. Uh, I'm part of the committee, but I'm not satisfied the way we are treated with our document. And in fact, let me quote it. Some other members who spoke before me were quoting from the minutes, which is not reflected in the report that we are to table today. So I am totally disappointed. And there's a, a proverb which reads to say, it's better to live on top of a house than to live in a house full of confusion. So now, it seems to me everything is jumbled up when the house itself is not set up. We have a problem in the rules committee and people have to put away sentiments and let's see Africa as one. We are always saying here one voice, one Africa. How can, that, how can we achieve that when we don't have the one voice and the one aspiration? It is going to be very difficult. I'm even disappointed, very well disappointed. And how will it go when others agree and others disagree on a report that is going to present that members are going to uh, contribute or to guide us? So I'm confused and I'm appealing on behalf of the honorable members here. Please, let's have people who are competent, who are very knowledgeable in, in legal aids to be part of our committee. Yes. It is very important because without the rules, we cannot go nowhere. An organization that has no bindings or that has no rules is, is, non, is, 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 a, is an organization that goes nowhere. So I'm appealing, let colleagues, please, those who have the knowledge and who are very competent in, and they know the know-how in legal aid to join this committee, please. That's my take, but I'm very much disappointed. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Abdekada Mokaloa, Algeria. Honorable, oh, sorry, you are here. Shukran, Sayyid Rais. Thank you, Honorable Chair. In a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I share my colleagues, especially my colleague from Ghana, that has stated very, very good intervention. We are all here to defend the rights of our African nations, not for posts and positions. We have observed from the morning session that there were uh, a number of colleagues who have monopolized the uh, debate, and this is a dry and, and unforgiving manner for conversing with each other. Honorable Chair, we have learned from the interventions of a number of colleagues um, that uh, the, uh, to reach the Bureau, this is a matter that is unacceptable because this kind of, um, uh, of behavior will take the parliament backwards. We believe that the debate on the report uh, um, is vital. The re I'm referring to the report of the rules uh, um, governing the Pan-African Parliament. This is uh, the most noble um, debate that we need to have even more than uh, achieving the posts and the positions. In the name of God, the great and the mighty, and, um, and we pray over our prophet, honorable chair, and uh, dear honorable colleagues, uh, in the name of God Almighty, I greet you all. 
the practical application of the parliamentary uh, roles has um, shown that there is a number of gaps and voids that require interventions and corrections in order to achieve good performance and a balanced performance that could allow this parliament to move forward in a remarkable manner. We need urgently to re-look into a number of procedures that we feel are essential, such as Firstly, the rotation of all the roles within the African Union uh, between the five regions, especially for the role of the president um, in application to uh, in application of the uh, African Union rules of the of the year 2017 and 2018. Since the inception of the Pan African Parliament, which we celebrate its inception of its 17 year, we have not uh, found that the region's microphone is the microphone has been switched off microphone due to the uh, negligent number of participants. Therefore, we feel that the two regions have not gained this position at all since the inception of the Pan-African Parliament. And if the African Union represents the rotation uh, rules um, for the post of the president and for all the other uh, organs and organograms, then I believe that it should happen here in the Pan-African Parliament for its important and vital role. Honorable Chair, if we go back to the fourth article of the protocol that allows for the membership that we need five members from each uh, member state. Microphone, the microphone is off again. Despite, if we go back to Article 4 of the protocol, which allows uh, that, that each member state will have five members, despite that, despite the, the population figures per member state, and also despite the, the uh, participation of, um, of contributions from member states, we find that there is lack of balance and equilibrium between the member states that represent this Pan-African Parliament, Honorable Chair. I think your time is out now. Time is out. Honorable Chair, we have amended the protocol for 2004 in the protocol Malabo a protocol in 2018, but it has not been ratified so far, uh, even seven years since then. That's why we um, believe that the speedy ratification from the member states and noting that Algeria has ratified in 2016 the protocol, the Malabo protocol, and we feel that the number um, um, the number of ratified so far are no more than 16 member states. Microphone. No, 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 I think it's up now. You, uh, have been, you have been switching on the mic more than twice. I think that's unfair. You are, it's supposed to be three minutes only. So time is now up. We can't let you continue. We, we can't let you continue now. No, we can't let you continue. Let's move to the next. Honorable Stephen Mikaya, Malawi. Thank you very much once again, Mr. President, for giving me the opportunity to contribute to this. And now I want to remind, I'll be very strict on three minutes. Make your point and then sit down. Uh, that's um, well noted, Mr. President. Mr. President, I'm a new member of this parliament. I must say I'm very, very disappointed. Why is it so difficult for other members to accept the principle of rotation? Why is it so difficult? <laughs> Mr. President, if we are really serious about uniting Africa, the issue of rotation is not negotiable. Yeah. Unless Unless we are hiding something, then it will be very difficult. But if we do understand the definition of one Africa, one voice, rotation, it's a must. We must accept it and adopt it. 
I thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much for keeping time. Thank you for keeping time. Our Hajj S. Darabo, the Gambia. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, order, please, order. You heard others are complaining that we were sponsored here by our governments to do business. Proceed. Earlier on, I did indicate that the Rules Committee cannot blame anybody for the situation that we found ourselves in. I want to believe that in 2018-2019, we had a rule care, a member from South Africa, who one want to believe that was, was no nonsense man, lady rather, in this August assembly. When things are wrong, we expect is the rules committee that should put the parliament in place to make sure things are put in the right perspective. But if we should come and see the committee behaving in a manner that is contrary, if they are to express their disappointment, I think that should come from the members, not the rules committee. What happened, one will say, is a deliberate attempt not to present the report. I believe we are here simply because of the work of the Rules Committee. They came here in March to make sure the right instruments are put in place to have an interim body. That's why we are here. The very first people that should be eager to present the report to this August Assembly is no other committee but the Rules Committee. I felt Disappointment, disappointed to hear that they are in prepared, they've not adopted the report. What for? When they are the one who paved way for this session to be in place, why crying that they are in prepared? I would just say that it's just deliberate attempt to hijack the proceeding, and that is unacceptable. Various caucus have nominated respective leaders aspiring for positions in the committees. If you are a member of a particular committee, please don't look into their eyes. Give the devil his due. Those who are fit to man position, give them the position. If they are not fit to man position, don't elect them to those positions. Otherwise, what demonstrated here is what Sorry, the time is up. Thank you. Honorable Jude Njomo of Kenya. Honorable Norodin Kabao, Morocco. Honorable Pupura Itokarepi, Zimbabwe. Sorry, yeah, you are yet registered, so he's out. Honorable Asani Di Kabo Maro Niger. Sorry, Niger, please, please, please. Honorable member, honorable member, please don't don't disrupt business to this extent. He has sat down, so what the issue? Honorable Asani Di Kabo Maro Niger. Well, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. I have two points to raise, Mr. President. Firstly, the acting president, I should say, you are one of the founding fathers of this parliament, and today you are pleased, proud to re repeat to us that this colleague or this colleague is a president of this country or of that country. You seem to have 
been in this parliament for a long time and know very many people. And for this reason, Mr. President, you should not accept what is happening since this morning in this room. You should not be complicit with everything that's taking place in this chamber, Mr. President. There have been numerous rules that have been discussed. The Rules Committee has had to address numerous matters. Even before this meeting, when we came, uh, at the outset, we there was a, a hot debate for the committee that was chaired by South Africa. We did not end. And so in this manner, Mr. President, you have seen to it that the Rules Committee is one that is causing fear in this room, because the provisions are clear. Why not respect the rules, the provisions that we have? A chair of a committee that is uh, contested by some members of the committee and is supported by the acting president is not right. This is the first point I wanted to, to share. And then the second point, we should not be forced to adopt a text. That is not the way we should proceed. We are here. It has been said and said over and over, one Africa, one voice. Therefore, we need to bring, you need to see how to bring us together as one voice, Mr. President. If we adopt this report, it must be that heads, and we know that heads of state worked on these rules in 2017. The law is not retroactive. Even though it was adopted, it is from 2018 that it should be entered into force. So, Mr. President, you should avoid mixing different issues and being part of uh, disputes in committees. We need to adopt our laws, our rules, and unanimity. And may I wish you well in the next stage of our meeting. Thank you. Uh, thank you for wishing me well. Maybe one point we never made is in any parliament, when you come to the end of the particular parliament, uh, all reports have to be wound up. I think that's what happens in your parliament. You, you wound up all the reports of committees before you get into the other parliament. And any report should be wound up if it is ready. By the end of next week, all, all reports have to be wound up, wound up. And that is the practice in any parliament. So you can't say mine is going to the next parliament unless in your parliament that procedure is not followed. So we are doing the right thing. We are winding up all the reports. Honorable Karamoko Nyere of Mali. Merci tout le monde. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Chair. Uh, given uh, what we, I am uh, witnessing, I prefer to say nothing. Thank you very much, uh, Chair. This is, is a very progressive man. Honorable Mokta Marco Mali. Yes, thank you very much, Chair. I'm new in this parliament, uh, but uh, the spectacle that uh, is uh, unfolding before us is really uh, disappointing and deplorable. I don't know what I will uh, tell the people in my country. The parliament adopted uh, internal rules of procedure that have to be respected, and here we are. Um, trampling of, on these rules and regulations. What are we hiding? What exactly are we hiding, uh, Mr. President? Certainly the elections. Now, uh, Mr. President, there is Article 23 of, on the rules of the committees, but this article says that uh, the reports have has to be approved by the uh, president of the committee. So we are parliamentarians here. 
We have to conform to the documents uh, that govern our institution. I cannot understand that this report has not been approved by the president of the committee, and you, a candidate, accept uh, that a rapporteur comes and reads a report that has not been adopted at committee level. I think that this report has to be thrown in the rubbish bin because it was not adopted by the committee. Uh, I continue, Mr. President, by saying that this is not how you get to the presidency of this institution. In the protocol, the protocol says that that when uh, 28 states ratify uh, this uh, treaty, we will then move on to uh, uh, to uh, revolving presidencies. Now, you cannot uh, trample upon these documents to get to the elections, and this is what we are trying to approve. This is not dignified. It does not befit this uh, parliament. Mr. President rejects this report. It uh, is deplorable. It does not honor this institution. It is not right that we continue a rapporteur who comes here stuttering and reads the report of a committee. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. President. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Honorable President, I rise on Rule 45. 2B, rules of procedures. The rule says if I stand up, you sit down. Please. Sit down, honorable member. Take your seat. Mokta Marco, honorable Mokta Marco. Honorable Mokta Marco. Honorable Speaker, the honorable member mm. is trying to lecture us on procedures. But he himself comes from a country yeah. that is having a coup d'etat. As of yesterday, he is not even supposed to be here. So when we are talking about, when we are talking about, yes. So when 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 we are talking about procedures, we all all know procedures. Order, please, order, order, order. Yes, Mr. President. Uh, the, the, the Honorable Mokta Marco, Honorable Mokta oui. Marco, oui. Can, hey, listen please. Oui. Honorable Mokta Marco, you said, I want to read Rule 23. Point of order. Rule 23. Rule 23, Honorable Marco, please, please, that corner. Eh? Mr. President. That corner, can I read Rule 23? Rule 23, in reference to what Honorable Marco said, it says, it says the approved minutes of a committee shall be signed by the president or the member acting in his, on his or her behalf or by the rapporteur and it shall be kept by the rapporteur. So this insinuation that the chairman owns everything is the only one is not supported by the rules. Anyway, we move on the list. Honorable Aminata Fatima Ibrahima Fofana of Mali. Votre interpretation n'est pas exacte. Exa no, your time is over. But, but your, your time is over. We are moving to uh, Mali. Another honorable, man, uh, honorable MP from Mali. But what about Aminata Fatima Ibrahima Fofana? What about the from Mali? My name. My name is Amina, it's not Aminata. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I had not seen you. My extreme left. Proceed. Okay, merci. De yes, uh, thank you for giving me the floor, uh, Mr. Acting President. I don't even know how. My name is not Aminata. My name is Amina. Uh, Mr. President, what I do not understand, when we started uh, doing the uh, swearing-in ceremony here, Mr. President, uh, you were... Uh, a judge and jury. You did everything to stop Mali from uh, uh, taking uh, their oath of office because we are going into elections. Let's admit it. Why do you continue like this? You, you are a judge and jury. You are sabotaging everything. Are you afraid to go to elections, Mr. President? But we need to be very clear. You do not deserve to be where you are because because you are creating disorder. Point 
If someone else were in your place, if someone else were in your place, we would have uh, made progress. If you are afraid, you should say it. Can you debate the report? Point of order. How can I be accused of Mali not signing in when I'm the one who facilitated that they come here and they get me signed in? Point of, point of order, Mr. President. The point of order should be to who? Oh. Hey. To we, to me. To me. Honorable Ali Kone of Mali. Honorable Ali Kone of Mali. Merci, President. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Merci, President. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. La parole, elle est bonne uh, elle est it is Merci good to take the floor when it is given. Parce que je suis uh, thank you for giving it uh, to me uh, because I'm the dean of this hall at the President. moment. Uh, Mr. Chair, Quand on est arrivé when we arrived at this uh, point on the agenda, uh, it confuses me. I am confused between what is presented on the agenda, which I'm going to read to you, point number three, presentation and debate on the reports and the review of the amendments uh, to the PAP uh, rules of procedure. The document uh, that I received tells me, uh, uh, the bottom of the page, it says that the, it is for consideration by the PAP Committee on Rules, Privileges and Discipline, uh, jointly with the Bureau and the Bureaus of the Pan-African Parliament. Nowhere do they say uh, for a discussion at plenary uh, at this uh, session. Mr. President, uh, that said, I prefer uh, to uh, save time and not uh, work on a document that is not adopt adapted to our agenda and to simply ask the President to go back to point number three and to give us the documents that are, are linked there to. Otherwise, I prefer to uh, take, regain my seat. Thank you, Mr. President. Honorable PC Ali Balansama Mara III of Sierra Leone. Le président fait la sourde oreille. Is not uh, in the chamber. Ah. Honorable, are you in the chamber? Honorable Omar Amidou Tichana, Niger. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, we are here uh, reviewing an amendment which concerns uh, uh, the internal rules of procedure. But at the same time, I'm uh, noticing that as a new mem member that we are uh, violating uh, uh, the uh, rules of procedure. Mr. President, you are an honorable member of this institution. And you are also a traditional uh, chief, a traditional uh, chief, as we know, uh, as we all know, who should inspire uh, uh, knowledge and confidence. Uh, Mr. President, if we're talking about rotation, everybody uh, who agrees in principle on rotation, but simply we need to uh, follow procedure. The uh, procedure of the Pan African Parliament says that the committee, uh, the rules committee, has to present the document. The document that we have here was not uh, sent uh, for adoption. It is a working document of the committee. And so, uh, the uh, presentation that was done. Um, 
is the, is not in conformity with the rules. I want to also say that to those who think that by modifying and adopting this document that could uh, help uh, impose uh, rotation in these elections, they are confused. Uh, they are deceiving themselves. Uh, look at Article 16 of the Internal Rules. Uh, Article 93.1, sorry. All, any member uh, can uh, suggest uh, uh, proposals uh, for amendments, and these are sent to the permanent committees. Article 93.2, amendments to the internal rules and regulations uh, can only be adopted if they are adopted by two-thirds uh, majority of all parliamentarians. And I do not think that given the discussions that we have had, there is a two-third majority. The third point. Uh, unless uh, the contrary, the internal rules and regulations and uh, at next uh, um, in power, in force rather, on the first day, uh, remain in place. What does that say? That even if we adopt today by today's majority, uh, we cannot implement the policy of rotation. Uh, that will be done at the next uh, session. So let's uh, keep calm. We cannot do anything against the will of the majority of the parliamentarians. Thank you. Honorable Norodin Abawi, Tunisia. Not in the chamber. Yes. Honorable Mohamed Afez, Tunisia. Present motion. Honorable Aljaloui Lassad, Tunisia. Present motion, please. Mr. President, a motion. Honorable Daouda Mamadou Mate Niche. Merci, please. Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Yes. A point of order. Give him an opportunity to proceed. No, no, she demanded motion d'ordre. I asked for a point of order. There are people who, has, uh, who stand and ask for a point of order. When some others stand to ask for a point of order, you refuse. Uh, we can, that cannot happen. Under which rule? It's not important. There are people here who stand and ask for a point of order. When people ask for a point of order, uh, you need to give them the floor. Why uh, do you refuse that people should uh, speak? People are speaking. No, I ask for a point of order. Please uh, let me make my point of order. Uh, before you uh, give, the, the, give me the floor, I asked to speak and you didn't uh, give me the floor. I just wanted to ask. I said this morning I took the floor to ask that we should review the list because I uh, put my name in all the uh, lists. But now I can't find my name anywhere. Uh, this morning I asked for my name to be uh, uh, inscribed, but I cannot find it anywhere. Okay, if it's not there, it will be ended. It's so simple. Those who's, whose names are not on the list, will allow them. Merci. Will allow them. Proceed. Merci, Monsieur le um, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Tout à Earlier, j le I really de appreciated the work that you did. Je I continue à que to think la que vous avez uh, that the great vigilance uh, that you have will help us uh, do some good work for our assembly. The uh, issue that we have been asked to debate here in terms of the improvements in the rules of uh, procedure and the issue of rotation, uh, Mr. President, I am convinced that in this room, we do not have a single uh, speaker or parliamentarian uh, who is against rotation. We simply need to, need to respect the procedure uh, to get to rotation. Otherwise, uh, rotation, we all agree. What, why do we say that? Uh, uh, Concerning Article 93, which he has just read, even if we adopt it, rotation cannot be implemented now. 
I simply uh, notice that there are uh, uh, different rules for different people. Uh, this point should not be debated here today, simply because it uh, can be uh, uh, prioritized for tomorrow. Because what is at stake for you and for us is, the, is tomorrow's elections. If that were not the case, Mr. President, uh, the problem wouldn't arise. We would have adopted uh, uh, this uh, document uh, despite its, in spite of its weaknesses uh, and all the problems uh, that we have noticed. Since the swearing-in uh, to date, uh, every time a problem is raised, it is the issue of elections that come and spoil everything. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Honorable Abaka Siddiqui Kone. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I just wanted to avoid... Uh, any anything that touches on the contents, because this document cannot even present it uh, in plenary, it cannot be adopted because it doesn't respect any procedure. The uh, title of this document says that uh, it needs to be uh, reviewed by the uh, Committee on Rules um, jointly with the uh, Bureau. So who is examining here? It is uh, plenary. It is, they never said that plenary has to review this document. Otherwise, you should be the first to tell us that this document cannot come to plenary, because that is not what the title says. We, so we cannot uh, discuss its contents. Uh, Mr. President, tomorrow is uh, a big day for the Pan-African Parliament. You said in one of your responses uh, that when President Kodo uh, was there, I, I never made this kind of remark. I want to take you back to the minutes of the debate here, and you will understand. If you read my um, interventions, you will see, see that I do not make interventions uh, to favor my friends. I'm not against you. What I am saying is that on the eve of elections, where you are a candidate, it is difficult uh, to uh, separate Chief Charambira, the candidate, and Chief Charambira, the president. That is what I say, and that is what is true, especially because everybody here can see that uh, the direction of the debate is going uh, towards uh, uh, different tactics to uh, stop one or two people you cannot uh, uh, cut my cut off my microphone. You cannot cut off my microphone. So everybody is witnessing here. Because earlier, the point of order. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, no, she's the one interrupting you, this one. It's, 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 it's inter she's the one interrupting you. Wait, wait. Let her sit down first, you proceed. Let her sit down. If she sit down, then you can continue. But the other one, other lady is still standing. The point of order is allowed. It's in order. It's not a problem. Mr. Just listen to the order, then you continue. Mr. Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President. So a point of order. Can you continue? A point of order is normal. Continue. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. A point of order is normal, except that uh, when you uh, don't give it to Honorable Manga, you cannot give it to another parliamentarian uh, under the same circumstances. We need to respect uh, equity here. So I was saying that the procedure here 
time. And uh, my point of order stands. Uh, please, no one, your, your time, your three minutes. Uh, 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 rules. Rules. Tell us what rules. Uh, uh, in, in your deliverance, Honorable you Martin, you take your seat. Honorable Kone, I think you have done. You have three minutes is over. Can we move on? No, no, no. Can we move on? No, Mr. President, you are the decision. Can you conclude? All right. Can you conclude? Okay. Mr. President, so. I have not recognized you. Ole Bokone is on the floor. But why is she having a microphone and sit we don't down. have a microphone? Sit why? down. You talk too much, man. Sit down. Mr. President, so what about you, Mr. President? Mr. President, procedure. Please. Let's go. 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 Let's Respect, respect others. No, no, but Blazis respect others. Who is this man? No, who are you? He's not a man. He's a honourable member. Procedure. Moi, je crois comme c'est la force. He's not a man. No, procedure. Now, now, look at that one. Look at that one. Look at the one behind you. Look at the one behind you. He's disturbing you. You have the floor. Mr. President. Honourable Jibrio. Please. Continue. 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 Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Merci, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. President. So what uh, would be honorable for you to do, in my opinion, is to uh, purely and simply withdraw this document. It is not a report of the committee. Uh, and to allow the uh, session to continue, and then we will have at some other stage the possibility to review this document. Uh, so that it does not affect in any way tomorrow's elections. You have a point of order? Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, is that Ratile? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm actually calling upon Honorable Atile. No, no, no. You are the one, eh? Sorry, yes. sorry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Mr. President. How many are I don't, I, I don't, I don't know the reason why I'm raising my hand so many times. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I highly disappointed today. I wanted to contribute uh, my suggestion and my stand. I don't know why we are fighting here for African people or for our individuals. I fully agree what my brother said from Ghana. Ghana. This an institution is not a private company. Those people are doing like they went. You know that democracy is, it is the, the dialogue of idea. Why we are gathered here during this critical time? What African people said, what the government of South Africa said, they sponsored us. Why gathered? We are gathered here to fight each other. To fight each other. I think, is it, is it because of the nomination? Is it to, or, or because of the election? Election, why we need election? Election to elect our leader to unite us. Election not to be to divide us. So many times people said some of us are, they wanted to overcome us. We are repre re representing our country. So many times people are saying the point of order, point of order. Can we bring the policy here? I think be before all things is we should have to respect each other. Yeah. Anybody respecting in the name of Pan-African Parliament. Somebody, if he sit in front of us, we should have to respect us. Res respect him, respect us. What I see here, what, what is coming? Can we hit each other? Are we childish? 
Please, be tolerant. Democracy, we don't, we don't worry about the election. We are choosing in peace way. Why we are disturbing here? We elect somebody. You are sitting there. You should have to order us, direct us in principle way. Please. On the list, we move to, to, to Burundi, Senator Anita Ndaizeye, Mrs. Point of clarity, Burundi, Mr. Senator Anita. Mr. President, point of clarity now. Uh, it's it's now clarity, but uh, she's taken the floor. Merci de m'avoir accordé la parole. Thank you for giving me the floor, Mr. President. I think that the members of the uh, the members of the committee, uh, the rules committee, uh, have to respect the rules. Uh, the report does not have uh, any uh, force uh, here, so we need to throw it aside. Uh, next is Honorable Sengop Solomon Thomas Serarion. Point of clarity. Mr. President, I declare. Mr. Honorable President. Alodi Nyonkuru, Mrs. Bru is from Burundi. Nyonkuru. Honorable Nyonkuru from Burundi. Honorable Janet Kabila Diarasi. Merci, Honorable President. Thank you, Honorable President. I don't think that I have a lot to say like the others. I am really frustrated with the behavior that I witnessed today. I don't know if we are more united or more divided today. And I suggest that we go to the elections tomorrow, that the best candidate win, and he will be the president of everybody. Thank you. Point of clarity. Honorable Mr. Jimbo, the Gambia. Um, thank you. Thank you, Honorable President. Um, Honorable President, I think most of us here are either Muslims or Christians. And I think honesty and sincerity is at the cornerstone of what we worship, as Muslims or as Christians. When I stand here, Honorable Speaker, to listen to my elders in this parliament, I get very disappointed sometimes. We, I'm not here to preach anybody anything. I'm just trying to remind you the cornerstone of what we worship as Africans, nothing else. Honorable Speaker, when I look at this document here, and I think you have one, what I'm seeing here is activity report, um, uh, sorry, I think I have the, is telling me review of the gaps and areas of improvement in the rules of procedure of the Pan-African Parliament for consideration by PAP Committee on Rules, Privileges, Discipline, Joint Bureau, and Bureaucracies. This is not for us. This is what I have for me. I don't know what you all have, but this is what I have. This document is not meant for us. This is meant for you, the Bureau, for you to review and come back to us and put that in your activity report. This is not for us. So if we stand here debating unnecessarily for something that, that should not even be allowed, and you allow that to happen here, I think that's very incorrect, and that's very insincere. This is not for us. When you look at the other report we have here this morning here, you have it here. It says, the report of the Committee on Monetary and Financial Affairs on the Pan-African uh, Parliament Budget Execution 29, that's for us. Then you look at all the other report here, activity report, Pan-African Parliament, report period January 20, that's for us. This one is not for us. This should not have been allowed in the first place. I thank you. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Yes. Yeah, the committee can clarify. Yeah. Point of order. I can you, can I you need, clarify? I don't need clarification. Yeah, can you, you need clarification. No, 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 no. Say down, say down. He's the rapporteur. No, no. That's what. No, no. Say that you have to. No, no, no. You have to say. No, 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 no. No, 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 no,
Point of order. Uh, no, no. Honorable Bombo wants gratification. Gratification. No, 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 well, there is no justice, no justice. No injustice. He is the rapporteur. He is President Zimbabwe. He is the No, no, injustice. No, no, no. Injustice. 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 President, Mr. President. Injustice. Mr. President. Injustice. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Sorry. Yes. Um, um, Mr. President, my question is directed to you, not the committee. I'm asking you, why do you allow okay. people here? I'm asking you that question, not them. Okay, order then. This this report was tabled before us by the committee and distributed for discussion. So the, the report is, about is, four. The report is, is properly report. in the house. Anyway, Honorable Bombo is the... Why well, that's the question? We can now move on to the Republic of Congo. Honorable Leodinas Kareo Motoni Mamoni. Merci. Honorable President. Thank you, Honorable President. Comme les autres. Sorry, please. Please. This parliament is too lenient to people misbehaving, and I think we need to we need to to, to, to discuss that. Yeah, you are making loss in the time, Mr. This, President. This, 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 business, this parliament is too lenient. I, I want to be, I want to be protected. Honorable you know, President. President. You want protection? What? He wants to beat me here. He wants to beat you. Point of order. He will he will never do that. Tell him. Okay. Mr. Mr. Anyway, proceed. Congo, proceed. Honorable President, par intérim. Congo, Congo, proceed. Honorable President, par intérim. Honorable Acting President, please, sir. Please, run, run, don't stop, run. Merci, merci. Honorable, I think sometimes respect this house. I think respect to this house is also good. Honorable. You are standing out as the most respective in the house, and I think that's not good. Honorable. Je ne connais pas I la moyenne don't know des the average age of the parliamentarians who are assembled here, gêné but I'm really disturbed by the unbelievable spectacle la fois that que we witness here. It is the first time that I, I get to this chamber and Franz Fanon was saying that uh, every generation should Ensuite, elle a deux be able to chart its uh, way and find ways and means for making it a reality. So to accomplish that mission and uh, that Président, depends on the truth that we say about Pan-Africanism. It is a traditional inspiration. If we betray it, then you betray yourself because uh, you believe in what is not right, what is fake, because on the rotation, the Malabo Protocol was very clear, and the Malabo Protocol requires that they be a ratification by 27 countries at least for it to come into force. To this date, we have only 13. We are short of 14. Therefore, Mr. President, let's not invent the rules by which we play during the match. We have to do so before the game starts. And you keep inventing new rules. And let me say that apart from the fact that this report uh, is uh, not in line with uh, Article 93, 
of uh, of uh, the protocols and Article 22 are very clear. And uh, well, the microphone, the sound is gone off. Sorry, we can't hear the speaker. I was saying that you behave like a, a minister of uh, the interior who organizes you to be a candidate to an election. I think you are not supposed to be there because we are here to defend the interests of the continent. Your time is up, Honorable Member. Your time, your time is up. Point of order. Your time is up, please. Your time is up, eh? Point of order, Mr. President. Your time is up. Your time Mr. is up. We move to Honorable Member. Si vous voulez Patoria que nous restions qu'à 24, nous allons rester. Honorable Member Patoria Tire of Botswana. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, uh, before, please order, order. Before I can make my contribution, I would like to draw your attention to rule number 51.3. Rule number 51, uh, sub 3, Honorable Speaker says, the presiding officer shall order any member whose conduct is grossly or disorderly to withdraw immediately from the house or a permanent committee for the remainder for the day's sitting. And the, the clerk of the sergeant at arms, the clerk or the sergeant at arms shall act on such orders as he or she may receive from the presiding officer to ensure compliance of this rule. Close quote. Honorable Chair, I have been uh, here since this morning, but the way we are conducting ourselves is not resemble the men and women of substance. It's, it appears like you are a supporters of a football match at the uh, national stadium or FNB stadium, wherever the game will be played. So whoever stood up here, he will be trying to shout the loudest so that can be heard. All what I'm trying to say here, Mr. Speaker, or Honorable President, exercise the rules of this house. If I became more disorderly, can we invoke the standing orders or the rules of this house to make sure that you maintain order in this house? We cannot keep on saying, uh, keep, you, keep on listening to the same uh, person. Since this morning up to now, there are only a uh, few people who I keep on talking. The others, they, they are no longer recognizing the chair. They are standing on their own and just uh, celebrating or the celebration or whatever. Uh, if you were at church, we may think that they are demon possessed, but we don't want to think that. Honorable Chair, on the issue of the, the report, I should think most of the issue has been addressed by the various speakers. So what do we do? Advise me. Can you, can you switch off your mic there, Honorable Speaker? The, the issue has been addressed by uh, various speakers here. Uh, all what we should do, because the, con uh, the bone of contention in the report is a rotation. If the bone of contention is, the ro uh, is a rotation, Mr. Speaker, in our uh, report from the Rules Committee, can we deal with that uh, um, a paragraph or subject in the report? If the report allows us, Mr. Speaker, to go I am advised, I am advised that in terms of COVID rules, we have overstayed. There is a maximum number of hours, otherwise the air we are breathing now may contaminate us and end up in a COVID situation. So we continue tomorrow at 9, because the list is too long. We are unable to go. We continue tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thank you. Announcement. Business at Announcement. to tomorrow. Announcement. Announcements. Sorry. Wait. Listen to announcements. Announcements. Hello. Announcements, please. Keep to your seats. Uh, Mr. President, honorable members, I just have one announcement. 
and that is to say that I have received valid nominations from four caucuses. And the nominations that I've received that are valid are as follows for the central uh, region. There is no nominate, there is Yeah, you can announce tomorrow at nine, just so when, when everything is clear. No, I've, I would like to make the announcement now, if you allow me, honorable members. Okay. For Central Africa region, uh, there is no nomination for the uh, position of president. There is the following two nominations for the position of vice president. Honorable Francois Ango Ndoutoume of Gabon, and Honorable Senator Anita Ndaizeye, Mrs. of Burundi. For East, Afri East Africa region, there is a nomination for candidate for the position of president, Honorable Albino Mathom Ayuel Abug, and there are two nominations for the position of vice president. That is Honorable Sadia Yassin Haj Samata, Mrs. of Somalia, and Honorable Albino Mathum Ayuel Abug of South Sudan. For North Africa, there is no candidate submitted for the position of president there are two candidates submitted for the position of vice president. And these are Honorable Salah G.Y. Drokia of Libya and Honorable Professor Masuda Mohammed Rahdaf Mrs. of Mauritania. For the West African region, there is a nomination for the position of president and that is Honorable Haidara Aishata Sise, Mrs. of Mali. And there are two candidates for the position of Vice President. These are Honorable Senator Bala Ibn Nala of Nigeria and Honorable Haidara Aishata Sise of Mali. Thank you, Mr. President, honorable members. We meet tomorrow at nine. A point of order. Ah, uh, please, 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 let's go. But you have not been no, please, announced. Please. No, 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 don't worry. No, 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 don't worry. I'll take this to my car. Yeah.